Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back here in Apocrypha again and we're going to slowly make our way through this area, if possible. Uh, did not mean to take a ruined book there, not gonna lie. That is useless to me. Just gonna throw that back on the floor. A pod to search. Nice, look at all this stuff. Beautiful. So I think we have to go this way, I think. It's all, it's all a bit of a jumble, not gonna lie, but yeah, this is chapter three. Right, good stuff. It's quite a smart way of doing it, that actually, calling it like chapter, chapter one, two, and three and stuff. At least it tells you that you are going the right direction, I think, anyway. What the? Oh, those weird things. Ugh, gross. Gross. The high, the high seeker. Oh boy, hold on a second. Hold on. Right, I think we need to keep on this high seeker. Uh. Can I actually slow time? There we go. This high seeker's gonna get it now. There we go. Man is quite dead. Oh no, I am dying. I am heavily dying. Let's not die in that regard, please. I say die in that manner, but didn't even raise you could even climb up there at first. So I was quite shocked when it worked, all of a sudden the uh, the seeker started attacking me. Uh, okay. So we're done there. We'll carry on a bit further. Those 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 technicals are gonna wreck me at some point. They're, 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 they're really trying to catch me. Hi there! Whoa! You disgusting, disgusting creature. Like, seriously, you are gross. You are seriously gross. Just trying to kick me in the head. Uh, to be fair, you don't do a lot of damage, so that's all good. There we are. Dead lurker. Say the stamina bonds just in case anything else comes up, I don't think it will, I'm not gonna lie, but that's what said, sorry. Chapter 4 is over there. Let me see if we have anything else that we can grab. Oh wait, I don't think we do. Like that looks accessible, but it also doesn't. Like there's nothing to open that door, I don't think. I think we'll just have to move on and go this way. Boom. Right. Oh wow! Literally appeared in this in, in chapter four here and instantly got we're getting thumped by some seekers. It's not it's not what you want, it really isn't. Ooh, I wonder if that opened the door back in chapter 3. Did it? I'm not sure. Yes. Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, good stuff. Then we have this one, which opens that. No? What did that open? I don't know. I do not know what that opened. This one? Yes, here we go. Now, now we're on to a winner, probably. It's not the most easily navigable place, this, is it? It's it's very jumbled, which sums up Hermie quite well. There we go. Keep going. Around 
here is that no. Ooh. Don't think the seeker saw me. The seeker definitely saw me. I slowed time there, but I don't think I should have slowed. Uh, should have slowed time. I got kind of a bit excited, I think, and then uh, jumped in a little bit too soon. It's fine. It's like the pod. Oh, Dedrick Mill. Nice. Very nice indeed. It's more books than a water stones in here. Seriously, it's crazy. Oh, there's two books ahead of us here. We'll quick save in case this goes a bit wrong. Chapter 5 and Chapter 6. Well, I mean, logically, we go Chapter 5 first. Logically. Whether Hermie operates on common logic, I don't know. Okay, so that opens up. There we are. So, by the way, what, what absolute madness did... Did Neloth just have sat in his staff enchanter room here? Oh, there's a bunch of. This looks like this looks like it's just a bunch of skill books. All of which I think I've read. Yeah, I actually have. Oh well, I tried. Nice effort, though, at least. Chapter three. Wait, this must. Oh no, yeah, this is chapter three. We use chapter four to unlock a door in chapter three. The pacing of this book's very weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a strange one. I don't quite understand the story of it all. Characters aren't great either. Chapter seven, eight. Sorry, all chapter seven. We've got chapter seven first. Hi there. Honestly, I, I don't even think these seekers actually try and kill you. They just they just sit there and try and debuff the life out of you. That's all it is. Battle. Oh, that's bridged a gap somewhere. Okay, good stuff. So we'll go back to chapter 6. Then we go to chapter 8. wonder if this book will, will, uh, will make it into a trilogy or a series. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure how well it's going to sell. What's the audience here? There's a lot of questions. Are we carrying anywhere? That, I think, was just the market for the scries. Oh, lovely! That was not a lot of damage. Let's go and absolutely smash these guys, shall we? We have insufficient charge. Let's charge it up. Black Soul Gem. Magic! Not that much though. Oh, you can't you can't use tentacles as well. That's just that's just cruel. Nope. Right, I need to, I, if, if I can get one of them killed, that that will be a big help. Right, this one. Oh my lord. God, take ultimate healing potion. Right, one of them is dead. That's the main thing. Oh, my armor's getting a lovely boost here, at least. Let's get some uh, close wounds here, shall we? Jesus 
Christ, honestly. There we go. Got another. Slow time. You can't continue fighting. Oh, don't tell me I... I... did I like... did I die and then... and, and then it kicked me out? Can I read it again? I think I, I, think I can just read it again. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm back here. Okay. Right, okay, that's... that's... that's not too bad. Because I, 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 I was almost there. I just clearly... Yeah. And the lurk is just right there, slowly regenerating his health. Well, I'm back for round two, and this time, I, I will beat you. Ow. Going for the kill. There we go. Whew. That was not the easiest fight in the world. Could have probably handled it a little bit better, but you know, it is what it is. Alright, it's a quick save there. This should be my reward, I believe. Take the soul gems as always. Scroll to paralyze. Any flesh? Right, let's let's see. Look at that bad boy. That's a big old book right there. Right, what's our options? More is agony, more is grass, more is boon. Summons a field of writhing tentacles that poisons fours. Okay. Freezes the target between oblivion and tamriel for 30 seconds, making them immune to all damage. Oh, okay. Amora's boon. Fully restores your health, magic, and stamina. I'll grab Mora's boon. I think Mora's boon could be quite good. Presumably that's like an ability that I can that, that I can activate, right? If I check my abilities there. Mora's boon. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing is it is it a power? Yeah, it's a power. Sorry, how much time is that? <laughs> God, time! Jesus, that's brilliant. And but that is basically just to say, yeah, Lucian will be there with you until he dies, which makes sense. I've not summoned Lucian in a while. He's probably he's pretty he's probably quite handy. Good stuff. Well, we got we got our boon. If need be, it could be it could come in quite useful. Right, so we need to find a Briarheart Warrior. Is the one on the map anywhere? No. They live on the hills on the western edge of Skyrim. So basically, we, I mean, we already kind of knew that. If we can find in Skyrim uh, another uh, boss one based similar to Red Eagle Redoubt and we find a Briarheart, we can examine one of them. I don't know what he means by examine exactly, but we can, we can give it a go. So I'll go to Skyrim again, and I'll go to one of the western western areas. I'm pretty sure I can probably find one off of memory. I don't want to guarantee that though, because I'm pretty hopeless in my memory, I won't lie. Uh, right, I think... Where are we looking here? Carspire, there's definitely one in Carspire. Carspire is definitely the one, we've been to Carspire many times. Oh my god, we have what we have went right into the lines then. Am I am I two-handing this goddamn thing? What the hell am I doing? There we go. There we go.
Shadow Mirror is going. Oh my god. We are we are kicking the door down on this uh, on this false one camper, aren't we? We are we are playing no games. God, there's, there's bodies flying everywhere. I mean, it's like I say, it's been quite a while since we've properly um, been to the uh, been to a forsworn locale. So it's not exactly a surprise that that, that we are just ruining these guys' lives right now. Nice, nice, nice. stuff. I'm assuming Briarheart will be up, to, up, up the top here somewhere. Or a Forager. Ravager, Ravager. Oh, we are very hindered right now. It's fine. Let's break out of it. Uh, okay. Let's carry on. The music is very epic at the moment, by the way. Oh, Hagrid. Brutal. Right, so we found a Highgrave and we didn't find a Briarheart. Uh, but we can go to the Carthspire, can't we? So, potentially, there might be one over there. Maybe I'm just not quite looking in the right place, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no. Here. Can I get on the bridge? No, I, no, no. <laughs> I just, I just want to get on the damn bridge, please. Okay, so is it, is it up here, Castbar? Yeah, it's to the Castbar. The, 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 there might be one in here. I'm not sure though. Maybe there's just nothing in here. I don't know. Honestly, who knows? Wait, wait. Isn't this the? Yeah, this is the way to Skyhaven Temple. So yeah, it's not going to be in here. I completely forgot about that. Silly me. Silly me indeed. Okay then. I guess we have to find another false one camp. Which we can probably do. I just I just expected that expected cast by it to have one, but no, clearly not. Uh, right, where else can we go? Um, where's likely to have one? Brooker's Leap Redoubts. We'll go Brooker's Leap Redoubts. You never know. Could be one there. Well, this is definitely another for Swan Camp. Hopefully, it contains a briar heart. Not, not just exclusively wild, dual-wielding ravages. It is typical that, that the place that we got sent to for another quest had a briar heart right there. Unfortunately, we couldn't have both quests active at the same time, seemingly. Right, so Brook Sleeper's out. We'll see. We'll see if, if there's one in here. If this is if this is Forsworny, we'll we'll roll with it. Yeah, this is this is filled, filled with Forsworn. Hello. Kill you. The Briarhearts. There we go. I don't know if I'm just meant to fight the guy. That's 
search him. How? Harvest Briar Heart? Oh, there we go. Examine a Briar Heart Warrior. That's, uh, that, that, that's all I had to do. That's all I had to do was just ha harvest, harvest him. That's fine. Well, at least we found one and killed him appropriately. I don't think, and I don't think Sky, Skyrim is going to miss him too much. Pretty good. Pretty good. Take our leave again. Now we can return back to um, Solstein. Hopefully Neloth will give give us something next, maybe something somewhere around Solstein, so we can kind of keep on exploring the place. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Yarl. I will, I will. Don't worry. Right, tell me three. God, that's a horrible looking figure, that is, isn't it? Oh, whoa! Talmithrin getting a bit of a siege put on it, I see. Right. Close wounds again, I think. There we go. What if that was meant? To, what if that was meant to happen, or if it was just coincidence? I'm gonna guess it was just coincidence, but you never know, do you? Sarana just absolutely hogs that goddamn lift. I'm telling you. Literally, the minute we walk through the door, she's like, "Mine, all mine." I know. The ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets, I mean to uncover. Gotcha. I examined the Bright Heart Warrior. Oh, have you? Well, let me just extract those memories, and I'll see if you found anything useful. I promise that any Someone's pushing me into memories I've right run across will be around. kept in the strictest of confidences. Here, you deserve a bit of a reward for your efforts. That was a lengthy trip for you, I'm sure. You're goddamn right. Completed Briarheart Necropsy. There are too many coincidences. There must be someone behind all of my recent troubles. What did you learn for the Briarheart? The connecting soul thread is knotted three times. Once for the heart, once for the spirit, and once for the body. The knot gives the connection a strength that may be the key that I've been looking for. Okay, good. Someone is attacking you? Yes, I have enemies. Legions of them back in Morrowind. Well, member of Talvani always would, wouldn't In this case, I have reason to believe it is someone in Solstein. Interesting. I suppose you want me to kill them. Not yet. That may come later. But first I need to identify the culprit. I've enchanted this ring to find the source of the attacks. Here, take it. Nell's ring of tracking. Okay. Uh, how does how the ring work? Just wear it. It will light up the source when you get close to it. Well, that's strange. I enchanted the ring with a bit of ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summoner. Okay. How close do I have to be? The link is weak, so you'll have to be within about a hundred feet of the source. Well, the last uh, summoner or any kind of commander was that was that captain, wasn't it? it was, I mean, it, I doubt he would be attacking Neloth, but who knows? How do you know you're under attack? Ash spawn keep appearing. One night, a part of my tower mysteriously withered. Then my steward was killed. You had to find me a replacement. Fair. I've even been attacked by dragons. Dragons? Do I need to go on? I'm not sure the dragons are about you. Maybe not. I hear they've been seen over Skyrim. Yes, there's too. a few over Skyrim. Even so, there is more than enough evidence that someone is out to get me. Including, you know, the the big bad dragon himself, Midori. He 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 will not be bothering you any 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 further. It's fine. Arduin's quite dead. Can I help you with your research? Perhaps later. You see, I'm a collector of staffs, magical staffs, in particular those made by Azra Nightwilder. Through some Azra Nightwilder. I believe okay. I've located one. If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Okay. Nightwilder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? Totally. Who was Azra Nightwielder? He was the original Shadow Mage. Get the stats. His advances okay. in magic are legendary. 
Less well known is that he was also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. He, he, was, he was a genius for his time, that's good. The ignorant think it is. It has rolling green plains, yes, I do remember swamps, this. and verdant hills. Right, good stuff. So, now has been attacked by an unknown assailant to give me a ring that will identify the source of the attacks. If I walk around the grounds of Talmithrin, I might find a clue. And the staff's hidden labyrinthian. Oh god, labyrinthian! Christ alive! It's been a long time since we've been there. It's back in the College of Winterhold days there. Um, okay, well on that note guys, next episode we'll probably try and find the source of these attacks on old Naloth here. And after that we'll probably go and hunt down this staff as well. So thank you very much for watching guys, hope you have enjoyed. If you have then please do like, comment, subscribe and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Skyrim. Have a beautiful day guys, bye bye.